Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add some coordinates which we have in Excel uh, into ArcMap. Here we can see in Excel we have some stations, eight stations, and then we have the longitude and latitude information. And here in Google Earth, we can see actually the, the real locations of those uh, coordinates. But today I'm going to show you how to add directly this information into our ArcMap interface. From this Google Earth map, we can see that our stations are located within Singapore. So I'm just going to go ahead and open ArcMap. And I have already prepared a shapefile of Singapore. So I'm just going to add that as, as a base layer for this exercise. Just go to Arc Catalog and drag this and drop it over here. Now, since we have a base layer, once we import the station information to ArcMap, uh, we will be able to see that very clearly. So let's first go ahead and open our Excel information. So here you can see we have uh, latitude and longitude information. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file first. Go to File, Save As. And the saving type, I'm going to go ahead and select Excel 97 to 2003 workbook. Somehow I have found out that if you save this in the latest Excel format, ArcMap will not be able to uh, detect it. I'm going to name this one as Station Coordinates. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open ArcMap. So just make sure that you're using, uh, you're consistent with the coordinate system that you're using. So if you want to check which coordinate system you're using currently, you can go to layers and properties. And you can see that right now my data frames coordinate system is WGS1984. And it's the same coordinate system with, uh, with my layer as well. Okay. The next thing is now to import the data that we saved. So go, go to File, Add Data, and Add XY Data. So from here we can browse to the place where we saved our coordinate information. You can see here station coordinates.xls. Click Add. And click on the sheet one all right now if you go back to the to the Excel document again you can see that my my X values are corresponding to longitude and my Y values are corresponding to latitude so let's come here and make sure that in X field I have selected the longitude and in Y field I have selected the latitude and here in case if the coordinate system is not being selected over here, you have to make sure that you are selecting the same coordinate system as your data frame and the layer. So in my case, it's already selected WGS1984 and I'm going to simply click OK. All right, now you can see that we have successfully added the data. and it contains the station name, longitude, and latitude information as well. And I can also make some changes to the style. Maybe select a triangle, decrease the size a little bit, and maybe change the color. Okay, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. And if you have any questions, kindly leave a comment below.